debonairdoremiwiiblogs.com. Don't matter. Yeah. When you have a face like that, you should never, ever pick things up. <laughs> oh, my God. Dismiss the band. You guys are so cool on Instagram. But you have to give me a personal introduction. I need to know your names. Uh, my name is Yuan. Yuan. Freddie. Freddie. Douglas. Douglas. Tor. Yes! Tell me, who is your fashion inspiration or who are they? Uh, it's a little bit of uh, everything, I think. We, we, we just pick from, uh, you know, from Hello, everything. Hi. It's not like a special yeah. one. It's like from the streets and uh, all kinds of fashion magazines from uh, the 60s or like uh, last month's Vogue or anything. Yeah. From movies, <laughs> yeah. like, you know. Oh, fantastic. That's very diplomatic. So you haven't told me who you be, whose fashion show you'll be watching, but I guess they'll all invite you to, <laughs> which is great. Now, um, I was reading, uh, doing some research on you and you're big fans of The Ark. So was it exciting when Ola then invited to co-write the song with you? Yeah, very, very exciting. He's a, he's a great songwriter and a great uh, live personality as well, and good front, uh, front person. And were there challenges in trying to make sure that the, the sound sounded like you, or...? Well, we were a bit... Um, um, no, at, the, at first it was, but then as soon as we got it into the, our rehearsal studio and uh, got it with our instruments, it, it sounded pretty good directly, actually. Yeah. And I must ask you, I, I kind of feel like watching your set is a cross between watching a fashion show or watching a liberation, because there are flags waving one minute, the next minute you guys are working that runway. Can you deconstruct the performance and tell me what each act symbolizes? The first thing is uh, we wanted to show our, uh, since it's not like a, a real live show, we're not plugged in, um, we wanted to uh, show our, our other side that we can't show when, uh, when we're doing uh, ordinary rock and roll gigs. Um, but then we also wanted to show people that we are a rock band, so by you know playing an instrument or singing in a uh, whatever you call it. <laughs> uh, and what about the flags? Yeah, flags. Well, we we needed we needed something like to, uh, something big yeah. happening, and uh, well, you guys are all big. <laughs> I mean, waving a flag, it kind of resembles a lot of things, but victory for yeah. once. Yeah. Uh, or, uh, uh, you know, uh, struggle and... Uh, um, yeah, victory and struggle, I think. Passion, Passion liberation, liberation yeah. Everything. Yeah. Uh, and just to quickly close this interview, this year's theme of Eurovision is celebrating diversity. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I'm going to pick on the one who's wearing the most eyeshadow to tell me what diversity means to him. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, I can't, I can't tell you that. <laughs> Sorry. It is a, uh, actually, I don't know uh, diversity. It's a hormone question. Uh -huh. uh, it means, you know, that everyone is involved. That you know, you can play rock, you can play reggae, you can play uh, pop, and you're all involved in this little bubble who call, uh, who is, you know, Melody Festivalen. So uh, it's a place where everyone can be reunited together. Excellent. I like that Miss Universe answer. And guess who else is involved? Our readers, who hopefully maybe and should be voting for you in your semi-final. Thank you so much, Dismiss. It's been such a pleasure. We're going to have selfies later, but I'm going <laughs> to close it right now. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.